Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you what I'm going to be packing in my Louis Vuitton Nice BB. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I did a birthday unboxing where I shared with you some new travel items. I got the new Keep All 55, I also got the Dop Kit, and then I got the Nice BB. So I thought in today's video, I would share with you what I'm I'm going to pack in my niece BB. The great thing about this little item here is you can use it for a wide variety of things. I think I'm going to use it for makeup, but this is the first time I am using it, so I thought we would kind of pack it together because I am going on a weekend trip. My daughter has a hockey tournament, but another nice thing about this is you don't have to just use it for travel. It also looks nice on your vanity, so let's say you're someone that doesn't want to unpack your items every single time you go on a trip. This is just a nice thing that you can just kind of sit on your vanity and it looks lovely. Plus, it also looks really nice in the bathroom as well. Now, I do want to caveat this by saying that I, for the longest time, have been using a little makeup pouch from Amazon that is absolutely amazing. I probably still plan on using that as well, but I just always really wanted to invest in a really nice travel piece so that's why I got the Nice BB. So I will also focus on the Dop Kit in the future and the Keep All in the future as well. But for today's video, we're just going to strictly focus on the Nice BB. So I recently did spray my Nice BB with Apple Guard. I did a whole dedicated video in case you're interested. I like to spray my Vachetta pieces, especially if I know that I'm going to use them a lot and it's gonna, just gonna protect it from rain spots. Now I do plan on using this and abusing it, so of course it's going to get spots and stains, but I just want to do whatever possible to preserve it a little more. So here is the Nice BB. It obviously is a vanity case. One thing I did want to show you, and again, this video is not a review because I have obviously haven't had it. I just, it's mainly a what's in my bag, but I do want to show you this really quick. You may recall that Dior recently had an amazing free gift with purchase. Well, I hate to call it a free gift with purchase because there was a minimum spend, but it was this little vanity case. I wanted to show you how they compare. They're actually very comparable, you guys. Like you can see, they're pretty much the same length and everything. So you don't have to spend the money on the Nice BB. You can definitely get other items that work the same, but I have just always wanted this. So I just wanted to show you a quick comparison. I did have one or two people ask me about that. So this has a hand and then it unzips. I will say my zipper is a little firm and I think that's because it's new but you can put wax on it if you want. Now the Nice BB does have a zipper at the top and this is where you can house things. Right now I just have the, the little care card in there. But the main thing I wanted to show you before I share with you what fits is I did get an organizer. I do have a coupon code from Zumoni for 20% off, but this particular organizer is a little different because it has this little insert here. Now there are two organizers you can choose from, like two widths. I got the thinner version, but you can also get a thicker one. Now just a tip, if you're looking for an organizer, a lot of times if I have a more structured item like the Nice BB, like this has structure without me putting anything in it, I will go for the thinner version. But if you have something that's a little flimsier like my Keep All, I will tend to get a little bit of a thicker version because that's just gonna help keep the structure. So I did get the thinner version here. And the one that I have has two compartments back here, two compartments here. And then it also comes with this little guy and it has Velcro on the sides and you can put it in here. So then that way, if you have items that you want to stand up, you can. So I'll show you what that looks like. And you will get a closer view when we do a little like pack with me, but I wanna show you this. So it does have this. So if you have bottles, which I do, I have foundation that I don't necessarily want flailing all around. I want them upright. 
so it has that and then it also has this little guy which a lot of times I will use this little pouch for hand sanitizer but I can use it for a couple things so we'll see if we can find something for that. I'm going to spin the camera around and I'm going to share with you the makeup items I'm going to be taking on this little weekend trip and we're going to pack it together. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pack this bad boy. I'm going to use this specifically for makeup so hopefully fingers crossed it can fit all of my makeup items and if you can see some of them I brought all of them on here so hopefully they will fit. So in the niece BB at the top, you can see there is a little zip compartment. I might end up putting jewelry in there, but for now we're gonna just focus on makeup. You can see the organizer that I have in here now. This is in the shade Custard, and you can get 20% off in case you're interested. Again, this is the thin version. And it's also the version that comes with these little compartments as well, which is nice because they're removable. So you can use this if you want things to stand up, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, looking at the makeup that I have in front of me, compared to this, I feel like if I had this compartment in there, it might not work because I have so much. So I think for now, I am gonna leave the little compartment out of it, and maybe if I took a little less, I would use this, but this way I will kind of maximize space. I want to be able to get my things in and out pretty easily and with the mass amount that I have it might be difficult. So the first item that I want to put in there and this is probably not a necessity but I got this. This is a Dior and I don't want to blind you. You can see it is a mirror and I actually ended up getting this as a free gift. It is a little box that can be turned into a jewelry box, but I thought this would be good to put in here um, in case I need a mirror. So I'm going to put that in the back there first. That is totally not a necessity, but I thought that would be useful. So now I'm going to start with the items that I use on a daily basis, starting with my moisturizer. This is well loved and hopefully I'll have enough for this weekend. But this is my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I'm just going to put it down in there. And again, I like to just easily be able to reach my things. And I'm afraid that if I had this little organizer, it would make it a little more difficult because it would take up a little more space. So I have that. Then I have this Tarte Poreless Primer. This is a good one. I absolutely love it, you guys. So I'm going to put that in there. Then for foundation, if you know me, you know this is my go-to foundation, the Dior Forever in shade 2.5N. I also have it in 2N. It has a pump. It is amazing. So I'm going to put that in there. For concealer, I have a bunch of favorites, but the one I've been using now is this Dior. Um, this is the Forever Skin Correct. Love this. So I'm going to put that in there and there are little compartments here that you can use as well. But again, you guys, I plan on just kind of throwing my things in there. Next, we need some powder. So powder I love. The Translucent Setting Powder by Laura Mercier is, this is just so good. I also have been liking the One Size by Patrick Star as well. So I'll put that in there and you can kind of see how it works and I will show you all of it once it's in there but to wipe away my translucent powder I like to use this Gucci powder this is in 06 once again this is well loved well used really love this I'm gonna put that down in there okay then for bronzer, I have the Gucci bronzer. This is an 02, but I also like 03. Talk about a well-loved item. I have hit pan on this baby. I'm gonna put that in there. Then we are gonna go with some blush. For blush, I'm gonna take this one in 012 Rosewood. This is a pretty like everyday shade. This is also well-loved. We have some highlighter. I love this. This is my new favorite by Chanel, the Sublimage, the Concentrate Lumiere. This is so good. Love using this. Okay, so put that in there. Let me move this around a little bit. Okay, so then over top of that, I like to be extra glowy. So I have Rare Beauty. Oh, how beautiful. And this is in Mesmerize, which is a little pinky tone. All right, what else here? So now we have, let's do the eyes. I have this little guy, this little palette in 100. You can see another well-loved item. And I'll just kind of put that in there. Then for 
my eyebrows. I have this foolproof brow powder. I do not like to do anything crazy with my eyebrows. I just like to fill them in. So I love this brow powder. So for lips, I like to prep my lips with this little Laneige little balm. And this is the cutest little travel size. And then if you don't want to use that, I also have this. This is by YSL. This is also a balm. And you can tell if you know me, I got it for the packaging. <laughs> Throw that in there. I'm also going to bring this. This is Hermes Rose Confetti. It's really pretty pink. I use that a lot. For a gloss, I have been loving the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. You guys, this is so good. It feels so creamy and it's in sweet mouth. I also like Dior Beauty and the Chanel glosses as well. If I want a like just a little bit of color, I love this one. And again, forgive me that these products are also dirty, but I use them. In the shade Confident, it's a pretty mauve tone. For lip liner, I like this one by Dior. It is in 100 nude look, as you can see. Okay, and then for mascara, no surprise here, Bad Gal Bang Mascara, the best. Okay, so now I have this little guy. This is um, beauty, uh, the little blue beauty blender case. And on the inside, I have my beauty blender and I have my little powder puff that I use for powder. Now these are so dirty because I plan on washing them once I get to the hotel, but I thought this is like really cute. You can put that in there. Finally, I have some setting spray. Now usually on a daily basis, I'll use both of these, the All Nighter and I use the Dior, the Forever Perfect Fix. I don't need both of these. I really don't. So I think for this trip, I'm just gonna take this one and I can stand it up, but I think I'll just pop, actually, let's see. Can I fit it? Can I stand it up? And I think I'll just kind of put it on top there. I'm gonna need some brushes. So if you recall, if you guys saw my, I think it was, I did, it was during the Sephora, Sephora VIB sale. I picked up a brush set. It's by Sephora Collection, and it comes with all these great brushes. So you get like your eye brushes here, your eyebrow, you have your foundation, you have your highlighter, your blush, your bronzer. It has everything here, and it does come with like a little brush holder, but it's a little big, and I want to downsize. So what I'm going to do, I have this. I got this from Chanel Beauty. I'm going to put all of my brushes in here, and I like this little pouch because it's flat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right on top there. So let me show you what it looks like in here. You can see everything is in there. Now, again, I will be honest. I did try this before and I tried to use this and it is a great idea. It really is. But for me, I bring so much makeup that I just like it if this stuff is kind of thrown around. Now, I could probably downsize a little bit and get some little travel items, but we are not going to do that today. So I have that, and then I'm going to take the little brushes, put it on top, and let's see if the little bad boy zips. Hopefully it does zip here. Oh, that is very, very heavy. But it is very beautiful. It's going to look very beautiful on the bathroom vanity at the hotel room. But I think it works. It fits all of my items. And as you can see, the only thing in here that is not a full-size item is this little Laneige lip balm. Everything else is full-size. And I even put this mirror in here. Do you need that? No. But I can't tell you the number of times that... We're in a hotel room and my daughter's in the bathroom or my husband's in the bathroom and I need a mirror so I can just set that up. And also another thing, if you don't want to put it on top, I could probably, oh yeah, that works too. I can put this behind it. Yay. All of that fits so nicely. So let's go ahead and zip it up and we are good to go. We have all of our makeup items, mostly full size that fit in here, which is amazing. Okay guys, there you have it. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised that this fit all of my full size items. As I mentioned, if you are someone that doesn't need to take everything with you, you might benefit from this little guy. I think it would make it look a lot more organized on the inside, but I think this works. I'm able to fit all of these items. I'm also able to fit 
you know, the little brush set as well. I am pleasantly surprised. I really am. Now keep in mind, this is very heavy, which is understandable considering how much makeup I have in here. There is also the little zip compartment at the top. I probably could have also taken my brushes and put them in that little zip compartment too, but I just want to keep them in a separate pouch because I know this is going to get dirty. I'm using it for makeup, but I'm trying to preserve it as much as I can if I don't have to put like dirty brushes in there, but I could probably, I've seen some people put them in like a baggie and put them in there as well. I could also put some jewelry in here, but for now, I just wanted to kind of show you um, that I'm packing my makeup. So not only did I pack full-size items in here, I didn't have to really downsize too much, but I also packed this mirror, which is pretty sizable and thick, as you can see. So I'm really excited about this. I'm so excited to use it. As I stated, I definitely plan on doing a review of the Keep All. I'm going to share with you the Dop Kit as well, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to pack that yet. I think I'm going to use this for my makeup. I'm going to use like the Dop Kit for, you know, maybe like my hair products, my hair items. And then in here, I might also put, um, I have like a little jewelry case that would actually fit as well. So I'm super, super excited to use this. If you guys do own the Nice BB, I would love to know how do you use it? Do you use it for makeup? Do you use it for other things? Do you carry a lot of like travel size items? Because again, as you can see, I'm so excited that I was able to fit a lot of my full size items. The only takeaway so far is that it is very, very heavy, which is understandable because I have like all of my makeup items in here. I hope this helped you guys to see what fits or what I'm gonna carry in my niece BB. Not only is it going to fit my essentials, but it's going to look very lovely on the makeup counter as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram as well. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button and come along with me to talk about all things handbags and beauty and fashion and we do a plethora of things on my channel so thank you guys again have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video